Mutton dak banglo is a goat meat curry recipe that uses a special blend of spices and also has potatoes and eggs cooked in the gravy. This recipe can be traced back to the colonial times in India. So to start, here I have taken 500 grams of goat meat. To marinate, add one teaspoon of salt, four teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic paste, one teaspoon of ginger paste. 3 tablespoon of curd 2 teaspoon of lemon juice and 3 tablespoon of mustard oil mix properly using hands cover it and set it aside for 3 hours in the meantime we will prepare the dak bangla masala in a pan add 1 teaspoon of coriander seed 2 dry red chili 1/4 part of whole nutmeg, 2 inches of cinnamon, 1 black cardamom, 7 cloves, 1 mace, 6 green cardamoms. Dry roast all the ingredients. A very nice aroma is releasing from the spices. Roasting is completed. Let it cool down then grind it with little water. In the same pan, pour 2 tablespoon of oil. Here I have taken two medium-sized potatoes cut into two halves and marinated with salt and turmeric powder. Shallow fry for two minutes. Here it is done. Now take it out in a plate. In the same oil, shallow fry two hard-boiled eggs. You can use up to four eggs for 500 grams of meat. To prepare the curry, pour three tablespoons of mustard oil in a curry. Then add one teaspoon of ghee. Now start adding the whole spices. One teaspoon of cumin home. One teaspoon of wild celery or ajmuda. Let it splutter. Add two bay leaf. Saute for a minute on low flame. Now add one inches of cinnamon, four cardamoms, four cloves. Saute for thirty seconds. Now add two large sized chopped onions. Saute for a minute. Add one teaspoon of garlic paste and one teaspoon of ginger paste. Saute until raw smell of ginger garlic goes away. Add marinated mutton along with the marinade. Here I am cooking after three hours. Give it a mix. Stir continuously. The secret tip is you have to cook the meat on low to medium flame and keep stirring occasionally. Now cover and cook for 10 minutes. Stir the meat. You can see little water is there. This will evaporate in further cooking. Now add one and a half teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, and one teaspoon of red chili powder. Salt as required. Mix all the spices with the meat nicely. Cover and cook for 15 minutes. Here you can see oil is releasing from the spices. Now add fresh tomato puree. Here I have used two medium sized tomato. Saute for 5 minutes. Now add dark bangla masala. which we have prepared earlier and half a teaspoon of black pepper powder two green chilies mix properly all the ingredients very nice aroma is releasing from the meat cover and cook the meat for 10 minutes after 10 minutes you can see the texture of the meat has changed onions have caramelized now add Half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Mix evenly. Pour little warm water to combine all the spices. This process will make the gravy thick. Again, cook for five minutes. Stir the meat. Now we will transfer the meat in a pressure cooker. Pour two cups of warm water. Meat pieces into the gravy. Now put potatoes. Close the lid and 
allow three whistle. The meat has cooked. Now add eggs. Dip eggs into gravy. Add one teaspoon of ghee. Your delicious mutton dark bungalow is ready. Have it with rice, paratha or pulao. Friends, try out this recipe at home and let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.